the first thing we need to talk about is location. For this video, we're going to be heading over to Cerulean Cave. Uh, this isn't the only place you can find Chansey, but it is the only one that has a decent spawn rate. Uh, but don't worry if you're not finished with the game. Uh, I've actually farmed Chanseys in various locations throughout the map. It's just way harder because the spawn rate is so low. I'm going to put up a graphic on the screen right now, just so you can see the other spawns uh, where you can find Chansey. Just know that it's going to take a long time. Sometimes it took me like an hour in between spawns. So, now that we're here, we're going to go over a couple tips to remember while we look for some chances. Number one, two players are better than one. To increase our odds of catching the Pokemon, and not only that, but adding another multiplier to the XP counter, we're going to be using two controllers for each catch. This is going to help dramatically with actually just getting the Pokemon in the ball. Second tip. Don't be afraid to run. During this process, you're going to miss a few times, and that's because Chansey likes to jump around and play its animations at weird times. So just note that if after you throw your first Pokeball, it will be able to run from the encounter. Just try and pay attention while you're catching the Pokemon and look for this animation. And once you see this, all you need to do is back out to the, the main catch menu and then press B and then run from the encounter. As long as you run first, your chain will stay intact. Tip number three, be patient and have fun. Starting off your combo is going to be really frustrating most of the time because the chances are harder to catch. Especially if you're not in Cerulean Cave because there's going to be that long wait to find another one. Just be patient and just try to make sure that your throws are on point to maximize your XP potential and you'll see a lot of growth in this short amount of time. Also, don't forget to use max lures to help out with your spawn rates. Moving on to modifiers. There are three different kinds of modifiers in this, so we're going to be looking at combo, size, and throw. As you can see by these charts I've put on the screen, the higher your combo is, the more XP you're going to gain. So normally, once you hit around 50, you don't really have to worry about the combo modifier anymore, but you know, just try to keep your chain up. The size multiplier is a little bit more tricky. Um, it's basically just all luck. You're looking for a Pokemon with either the red and blue swirls on it, just to indicate that it's either a large or a small Pokemon. But the, the extra large and extra small modifier is so much bigger than the regular small and large, but there's really no indicator for that until you've already caught the Pokemon. So just look for the red and blue swirls if you can. Last is the throwing bonuses, and they're basically all just based on patience. Just make sure that the Pokemon is in a good position for your first throw, so that way you can try to get that first throw modifier. But if you miss it, don't worry about it. Just try and really go for those excellent throws because it's a double multiplier compared to the great or nice throws, which are a little bit less than that. Another thing I want to talk about is shiny Pokemon. After chaining for a while, it's going to become more likely to find a shiny Pokemon, so if it's not a chance that you're going to have to make the choice on whether or not to break your catch combo or get this shiny Pokemon. In my case, I would say go for it because shiny rates are a little bit more inconsistent, whereas you can always start your catch combo back over again. Uh, luckily for me, in my case, as you can see right here, I actually got a shiny Chansey, which means I didn't have to lose my catch combo, and I get that sweet, sweet spark. So, after knowing all this information, you're going to notice that once you get higher up and you catch more Chanseys, you're going to get a lot of XP, as you can see from this one right here, as it pops up on the screen. I may skip it a little bit, but I got 30k XP off of one Chansey. And that was a pretty pretty rounded off point. I think normally I was getting around 28,000 per Chansey uh, once I got my chain up so high. So it's a really effective way of farming XP. And I mean, <laughs> I mean what more could you ask for other than that, really? So um, I hope this video helped you guys out. And if not, I mean, you can always hit the dislike button. But I have a lot of other Pokemon Let's Go videos on my channel, also in a playlist if you need to find them. So check those out if you're looking for any other, you know, guides. 
But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.